So I had one client who had a fetish for um, long opera sleeves. Okay. And it caused huge um, issues in his relationships because he didn't want to have sex without the wife wearing the long opera sleeves. <laughs> How would you sort of define trauma? What is trauma? Um, trauma is any event that actually makes you feel helpless or you feel hopeless. You are not in control. Now, we have small T trauma and big T trauma. So small T trauma can be like the time you got, I don't know, somebody called your names, but it affected you, or you felt overwhelmed with the situation because you didn't have the tools to deal with that. Now, big T trauma can be an accident, it can be being the victim of a crime, or anything that is more specifically thought as big trauma. Mm. But you also have s series of small trauma that can actually be worse as one big event of big T trauma. Yeah. And it also depends when it actually happened. Did you have a support network you could fall on, onto, etc. And that is actually really important. And, and so if you can cast your mind back to, let's say, like the last you know, a few clients that had either sex or porn addiction, you know, what are the traumas that typically go along with that or that might go along with that? Um, sometimes it's losing a parent. Sometimes it's uh, a parent that's not emotionally available or that was not physically and emotionally available. It was a feeling of feeling unloved hmm. or not valued, or maybe you didn't have a voice, you were not seen or not heard. Okay. Um, and that, how do you feel like, what's the role of, of that in creating the addiction? You know, what's the kind of typical I can Story. give you an example, but I have to change some specifics for um, to maintain. Yeah. Content. So I had one client who had a fetish for um, long opera sleeves. Okay. And it caused huge um, issues in his relationships because he didn't want to have sex without the wife wearing the long opera sleeves. And she thought it was fun for a while, but yeah. after that. Um, and we traced it back and it was because the only time he actually got affection from his mother was when she went to the opera wearing the opera sleeves and she would kiss him goodnight mm -hmm. and she would stroke his forehead wearing the opera, the sleeves, mm -hmm. the gloves. So that was a funny one. Okay. What, what, what else? Um, sometimes it's because um, they find like a magazine of their dad mm. and it just becomes something exciting but then when people are feeling going through a difficult period in their life they're feeling depressed or anxious or really stressed then that becomes their coping mechanism and then your brain starts to think I need this to alleviate my stress depression anxiety etc so in a way, you're creating a reward system to relieve something, which then becomes a coping mechanism. And at that some point, the coping mechanism will actually overtake the reward that you get, if that makes sense. Um, so you said the coping mechanism will sort of... So it's a cost-benefit analysis. Mm. The coping mechanism works really well, but it, the coping mechanism itself becomes a problem. 